Ladies, 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 I'm here on my stream. I'm also here to talk about some NFL uh, news. Uh, episode 52. Pretty much with the day before uh, the games with uh, some injury updates. Uh, I wanted to talk about a few other things as well. Um, so let's get right into it. Um, Jets uh, have a game, big game against the Bills tomorrow, which should be a great matchup. Um, they've downgraded their running back James Robinson to questionable for Sunday's game versus the Bills due to a knee injury. So I just don't get why they downgrade him to questionable. The it feels like nowadays the questionable is pretty much probable now they're gonna play. Um, just from what I think. But I think James Robinson's gonna play this game. I mean, he's only questionable, and I think he's gonna play this game because they need him in this game. They need James Robinson in this game if they want a chance to win this game against Buffalo. So we'll see what happens. Uh, maybe we'll have an update later. I'll do another NFL news like later tonight after uh, I recap. I'll recap the Tennessee Georgia game later. I'll actually recap the NASCAR uh, championship Xfinity race tonight as well. So. Look, so some more stuff coming up tonight, so yeah, stay tuned for that. Anyways, uh, Rams running back Cam Akers, uh, he's not listed on this week's injury report for Sunday's game versus the Bucks. You know, Bucks, Rams, both teams been struggling. Um, he's not listed on the injury report. I just don't know if he's going to play him. He might be a healthy scratch, in my opinion. I just don't think he's playing. Um, I just don't see him play. He's not listening the. I don't, he's not injured. He's not listening the injury report. But I think he'll probably be a healthy scratch, uh, most likely. The backfield's just a mess for the Los Angeles Rams. They just they're off the lines trash. Can't get anything going running. The team's just a mess right now. Uh, the Chargers have ruled out wide receiver Keenan Allen for Sunday's game versus the hashtag Falcons. Keenan Allen just cannot stay healthy this year. Um, just some bad luck for the Chargers. You've had um, Mike Williams hurt, Keenan Allen, Donald Parham's now hurt as well. Um, so yeah, he's out again. I uh, just wanted to talk about list uh, of the list of players that are out Sunday per Adam Shafter. It includes Jordan Poyer, Corey Davis, Chidobie Awuzie, Jamar Chase, Devondre Campbell, Matt Ryan, Jonathan Taylor, Devontae Parker, Jahan Dalton, Mike Williams, Keenan Allen, AJ Terrell, Cameron Bray, Russell Gage, and Antone Winfield and Marquise Goodwin. So some 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 good big names on there. Jonathan Taylor, Jamar Chase, you got a uh, Corey or not not Corey, there's Jordan Poyer on there. And uh, the two receivers from the um uh, Chargers, and now you include Donald Parham, so that's going to be a tough game for the Chargers without those three. Now the Colts now have ruled out running back Jonathan Taylor for Sunday's game versus hashtag Patriots. Obviously, we talked about a few days ago, he had the ankle spray. It might be a bit worse this time than the first one, and unfortunately, yes, that will cost him some time, and he'll miss Sunday's game versus the Patriots. Patriots licking their chops, facing a, a young rookie quarterback, Bill Belichick, licking his chops right now against a young quarterback. Uh, the, the Eagles reached their first 8 0 start in franchise history uh, after beating the Texans on Thursday. The Eagles are a good team, and they're a really good team. And as a Cowboys fan, I'm saying that. Because I've seen some people saying, oh, they have an easy schedule. Yeah, I said that in uh, somebody's Discord, but it's kind of just me being a little bit biased. The Eagles are just really a good team. I mean, they beat a good Vikings team earlier this year, destroyed them 24 7. Um. They beat Dallas. Even with Cooper Rush, they're still a solid team. So, And Cooper Rush just threw three interceptions that game. Really cost us, got us behind. But the Eagles are a good team. So that's their first 8 no start in their franchise history. So good for them. Uh, Saints wide receiver Michael Thomas needs a toe surgery pill injured reserve. So he's now on the injured reserve um, out for the season. This last few years after having that one uh, really good year where he broke that receiving record. He's just been injury prone. And just sucks to see one of the talented receivers in the National Football League. Just too injury prone, injury prone can't see in the field. Uh, Brandon Cooks. We have some more uh, updates out of that. Uh, why he didn't get traded. And this is one of the main reasons uh, they were unable to trade him. 
was because it wanted a because it wanted second and fourth round picks in return for him per sources. So the Texans wanted second and fourth round picks in return for uh, Cooks. No team was willing to trade a two and a four and assume Cooks eighteen million fully guaranteed money for next year. So teams didn't want to take basically take his eighteen million fully guaranteed money for next year. Um, but yeah, I don't know if he'll be playing for the rest of the season. A Dolphins and their outside linebacker Bradley Chubb reached agreement on a five-year, $119 million extension that includes $63.2 million guaranteed. So it's a $63 million guaranteed deal for Bradley Chubb. So after me, after getting traded to the Dolphins, he's uh, signed that big contract, which was probably expected. So good move for them. And they acquired wide receiver for Darius Tony did not appear on the injury. Chiefs injury reported all this week. And head coach Andy Reid said that today he is expected to play Sunday night versus Titans. Really looking forward to see how Kadarius Tony looks in that system uh, under uh, uh, with the Chiefs. Uh, the Chargers signed wide receiver Kalen Doss to the active roster from the practice squad and placed tight end Donald Parham Jr. on the injured reserve with the hamstring. L.A. activated kicker Cameron Dickert and cornerback Cayman Hall from the practice squad for Sunday's game versus the Falcons. Uh, see if I can see more stuff. Come on. Um, one more thing uh, with Jonathan Taylor out. The Colts elevated running backs Phil Lindsay and Jordan Wilkes to the active roster. So they've uh, act, so they've uh, elevated two running backs uh, to the active roster. So um, yeah. Owen oh, should be a woozy. It was just placed on the injured reserve. So that sucks. Has he, has he feared a torn ACL, which sucks he's having a really good year. Probably the best player in the secondary. So, yeah, that's all I'm saying for you, ladies and gentlemen. Next time I'm out, I got life.